Head of Northwestern Zone of Tigray, Taklai Geromedin said, Eritrean soldiers and Amhara militants have committed heinous crimes in Northwestern Tigray. He said, These forces have killed innocent civilians, looted properties, and destroyed residential buildings in different towns of Northwestern Tigray. <laughs> Out of the 15 districts in northwestern zone of Tigray, only Zana district is out of the control of the invading forces. Eritrean soldiers and Amhara militants are perpetrating gruesome atrocities on the people of Tigray. Atrocities have continued endlessly in the face of the peace agreement. Taklai also added that Eritrean forces and the Amhara militants have killed over 2,022 civilians and they have inflicted permanent physical injuries on hundreds of innocent civilians. According to Taklai, many of the killings were inhuman. <laughs> Eritrean soldiers and the Amhara militants have killed 2,022 civilians. We have name list of the deceased ones. 257 people have sustained permanent physical injuries and disabilities. In Fethi, a place in Sayamti Adiabo, four youngsters were killed with their hands tied back. Similarly, in central Adiabo, Adit Alom locality, seven family members were indiscriminately killed. They slaughtered them inhumanly. According to Taklai, Eritrean forces and the Amhara militants have also targeted cattle, goats, sheep, and poultry in northwestern zone of Tigray. He says that two forces have looted and slaughtered thousands of these domestic animals. <laughs> Especially houses in Adiabo and Asgada areas have been looted. 2,000 cattle and more than 2,000 sheep and goats were taken by the two forces. More than 10,000 poultry were either slaughtered or taken by the forces. The zone head also said Eritrean forces and the Amhara militants have ruined many towns in northwestern zone of Tigray, and future existence of some of the towns is questionable, as the damage inflicted on them is enormous. Not only this, Ad-Da'ro town is completely destroyed. Eritrean forces burned houses and looted properties going door to door. Similarly, more than 700 houses have been destroyed in Ad-Nabri'id. Ad-Hagarai, ad and Dadabit are hugely damaged and their future existence is questionable. Taklai underscored the urgency of the withdrawal of the Eritrean and Amhara forces from Tigray, emphasizing their further existence will exacerbate the existing problem in Tigray. Eritrean soldiers and Amhara forces should withdraw immediately. Their further existence in our area will worsen the existing problems in Tigray. Therefore, there should be a means to expedite their withdrawal.